If you watch the show often, you know I typically roll, but I'm feeling lazy tonight, so I'm going to pack a cone. Friends tell me, but friends don't lie, I'm told. All the time, go. How you guys doing tonight? It's GP here from CBD Hemp Library. Um, if you watched the show before, then you recognize me. If you haven't, welcome to the show. Welcome to your first episode. It's kind of crazy to think for me to think that this could be somebody's first episode, really just because we've made 300, not even because we're so big or anything, because we're not that big. <laughs> but it's just wild for some of the first video to be the 300th video. But let me get into said video. What are we talking about today? I guess today I'll talk about the downsides of Delta 8 THC. So I'm about to start packing this and then I'll get to talking. All right, so the downsides of Delta 8 THC. Well, for me, I would say the downsides depend on the product. So for the first product I will talk about, I will talk about edibles, which we do have on sale right now, one bottle left. But with the edibles, the biggest downside to me, in all honesty, which is something you'll deal with with all THC, so this is, I'm probably going to get some comments below, like, that's if you deal with anything. But the cotton mouth associated with Delta 8 THC edibles seems to be more intense than other edibles and other forms of THC that I've had, whether it's smoking Delta 8, whether it's the Delta 8 tinctures, whether it's normal Delta 9, the... Cotton mouth associated with Delta 8 THC just always seems to be extreme. Like Sergio says it as well. When the edibles, the, a big way you can tell they're starting to hit, in my opinion, is that cotton mouth really starts to, starts to settle in. So if this is something that you deal with, please comment below. Um, I don't want people to think I'm crazy. And I'm sure you don't think I'm crazy because it is a normal, a normal uh, marijuana issue, if you will. But at the same time, in my experience or in my opinion, how much cotton mouth you get for how much you eat for Delta 8 edibles, it's intense. Really don't need much more than that. See, I only have it like a little over halfway. So typically, I just burn off the top if I don't want to pack the whole thing. Sometimes I don't want to pack the whole thing. I'll be sitting here talking to you guys forever if, if I smoke that whole thing. And I know y'all don't want that. I am packing in some rocket fuel inside this cone today. And we do have it on sale as well. Because Square is fucking with us. But the next, the next downside I would say about Delta 8 THC is with the carts. And we haven't gotten a lot of complaints with our carts, but many of the carts, many of the disposables, they leak. In the normal Delta 9, they leak as well. But for some reason, or maybe with some distillates, um, the Delta 8 just seems to be so runny. Like if we get some Delta 8 dabs and we leave them out at like room temperature, um, a lot of times they get runny, they get liquidy, everything gets sticky, which is another downside. When it's runny and gets sticky and they get nasty, if you have a disposable and it gets on the top and you put it in your pocket, now you have lint hanging off the top of your disposable, and it's just not an ideal situation. So the viscosity of um, Delta 8 THC, um, the, the distillate, is another downside, I would say. A lot of times it gets really messy if you're dealing with the dabs, if you're dealing with the dabs, I would really suggest freeze them. Um, and that's something you could say for Delta 9 as well. But often Delta 9, you could still leave them at room temperature and they're okay. Many times the Delta 8 dabs are not okay at room temperature. Many of you guys that smoke Delta 8 dabs, watch out for that. And for the carts, make sure you vape them at the right temperature. And not all of them are the same. But in general, I've seen the 2.5 to kind of... Uh, I would say even up to 3.5, depending on what type of terps are in there um, for them. Oh, shit. I forgot the hemp wig. But I, that's what I would really suggest is to just find the right temperature when it comes to the vapes or else. If it's at too low of a temperature, then it pulls it not already vaporized. And so now you have even extra oil pulling up with an already liquidy substance. So, guys, when it comes to the distillate, one, 
be careful in terms of putting your hands on and stuff like that because because it comes because it becomes really sticky. But also, just make sure that you also freeze the dabs when you get them and make sure that the temperature is right when you set the pin. Which I would say I'd set 2.5, more than like like 2.7 to 3.5 somewhere in there, um, to make sure that it's not too harsh, but also make sure that you're vaporizing the distillate before it kind of goes up the up the cylinder. So that's a tip for you guys, but that's also kind of a downside with Delta 8 is the viscosity. Or the lack of viscosity. I didn't do too well in science, but I know viscosity is the resistance of things to flow. So that would mean since it doesn't have a lot of resistance to it flow, it would have a low viscosity, right? Please comment below if I'm correct. I may be smoking, but I went to some school. <laughs> Another downside about Delta ATHC. Next, I'll talk about the flower. Um, so when it comes to the flower, um, the distillate is infused with CBD flower. That's what Delta 8 flower is. So now more things are at play. So the CBD flower has to first off be quality CBD flower. The distillate has to be quality distillate. And it has to be infused correctly to where there's oil throughout the bud. Because a lot of times they'll just spray it. It'll be a light coat on the outside. But all that dense CBD flower on the inside has no Delta 8. Therefore, you're getting uneven smoke. It's sprayed unevenly. It's just not a good situation. So um, that's another downside to Delta 8 THC. And it's not saying that's all buds. You have to be careful. You have to make sure the company is using good CBD flower is using good distillate and is infused throughout and these are questions you could ask like if you ask us i can tell you that our rocket fuel is infused throughout and it is the top shelf on um, cbd buds but that's something that you should ask these companies before you buy it just in my opinion um because that's what we've seen and we're in the industry obviously trying as many things as anybody um to where i can tell you that some of the cbd flour it's harsh because the cbd flour isn't good and also um, some of the distillate that we also smoke is pretty low quality on top of the fact that sometimes the buds aren't infused well with the distillate, which doesn't make for as pleasant of a smoking experience. Considering that we do have Delta 8 products available, I am definitely not making this video um, to scare anyone off from using Delta 8 THC. But at the same time, I think that informed customers are always good customers so i just wanted to kind of let you guys know and and kind of just share some light on the delta 8 thc market what to watch out for what some things are good to buy and what some things aren't good to buy and obviously we have tons of videos explaining these things um but just some things to watch out for like having good quality flour like be careful of the disposables you get because sometimes they get runny so be careful about keeping your pocket keeping them and things like that i have had oil run out of the pin onto something I was wearing or something like that. So definitely be careful with that. And when it comes to, first I talked about the edibles. And when it comes to the edibles, um, keep a drink close by. Because that cotton mouth gets real. It gets real. Sorry if I've been talking kind of fast. I try to make sure I get all the information in. My normal style is to more just lay back, chill out, just make a video. But I want to make sure that I don't stretch the video out too long so people can get all the information possible. I know people's attention spans are very, very short. So guys, these are just some things I wanted to share with you. I'm not trying to convince you to buy Delta 8 or not to buy Delta 8. It's definitely a very viable option. It's a product that I personally enjoy. But CBD Hemp Library, we were created to kind of warn you guys about what products you should buy and what products you shouldn't buy. Um, and that's kind of just what I'm trying to give you a general guideline for. So when you're looking for quality products, um, last time I talked about terpenes, today I'm talking about just what is quality and what is not quality. And if you don't have a quality product, some of the reasons I named today may be the reason why. Obviously, cotton mouth is something that can't be helped. You're just gonna have to keep some water close. But these are just some things I wanted to point out to you guys. Um, so, guys, I definitely appreciate you hanging out with me. I talked about Delta 8 THC, talked about the flower, talked about the vapes, um, talked about the edibles. 
If you guys have any questions about Delta 8 THC, please feel free to reach out to us, DM us, email us. We can get you answers. We can tell you about the products. Tell you about our products. Tell you about other companies' products. We've tried so many. So, guys, I really appreciate it. Like I said, it's been GP. Another episode. CBD Hemp Library. Legally Lifted. You name it. We're putting content on it. Appreciate it, guys. Peace.